Hello guys again. As you can see, it's a pretty rainy day, or rainy evening, and I got nothing better to do than uh, play with my toys here. So, uh, recently what I find out is that the lower number, the serial number of the Honda EU2000i uh, will not run on the propane or natural gas which I find hard to believe and that would be the number below 20 blah 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 okay so first uh, the number is 20 and whatever is behind doesn't matter but whatever goes below 20 and something it's uh, it's not gonna run on the propane that's what uh, that's what the Hutch Mountain website is telling me and they actually they actually make these uh, really nice uh, conversion kits for, for these machines. So I went into my storage and I dig uh, around and I found uh, one of these machines that has serial number EAAJ 1454229 which is way below 20 blah 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 okay so let's see if this machine will convert to the uh, or not convert but will run on the propane uh, i will show you the uh, uh, conversion without any conversion kit and the next video but uh, right now we just have to find out if it's going to run on the propane or not so here it is i'm gonna get this situated a little bit better and maybe zoom a little bit um, this this could be probably good now as on any generator we got this uh, return tube from the crankcase into the carburetor or filter box which will actually get the fuse from the tank case um, uh, and, and back into the carburetor. So I already got it loose a little bit. All you gotta do is just pull this off. Okay. And now get this uh, beautiful 3 8 hose that will just fit perfectly on it. Well, first, let's run it out of the gas. Sorry. I think, I think I, I'm jumping a little bit here. Forward too much. Um, this switch here, which has a green and black in this case, and it's two-wire switch with a small connector, will get disconnected really, really easy if you just push, push on the top here. Okay like that, the push on the top, this is going down, but bam, you push on it, it will just disconnect like that, okay, you will see, you just have to turn it around and you will see which side has a lock, so push on the lock, then it disconnect it, and uh, now the switch is off, um, off, I find I still going to be able to start the machine, but let me get the propane first ready. This is a little monster I created here. Now, obviously, I just have to keep it out of the way so you can see something. Well, damn. So I'm going to move it up. Easy. Not that well as I thought, but anyway. We have a hose here. I'm going to have to get it a little bit closer. Um, how am I going to do this? Maybe. Now, right now, I'm just going to leave it here, and later I can get a poster. It might be in your face, but uh, what can I do? Okay, so let's get started. Jump. Okay, and uh, let's get this out for now. As you can see, the switch has no... No, don't 
roll over the generator anymore. So you have to switch it into the off position once you display this. Okay. And then we need to adjust this screw up here. That's actually feed the generator, uh, feed the generator to the propane. So it's not as easy to do it. It's much easier to do it uh, the way I'm doing it right now. So uh, just watch and learn, okay? Thank you. So let's get this closer. Okay. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. find out on my own okay guys so I did find the problem here and uh, the problem is that this uh, adjustment screw here is very rough okay and it's not gonna this is for big generators and I thought it's gonna work on, on the Honda, but obviously that does not work. So I got another setup here for my small generators. That this screw here is actually a really fine adjustment, and it will close more. So it will actually let it will let go less gas into the generator. Okay, and I tried. This is the, in the back is the EU2200 and this is the uh, 2000 with a low uh, serial number and, and I tried that one also and it didn't work on the other uh, regulator and when I hooked it up to this regulator I was able to start it. Now I have to tell you, I have to tell you that much that this EU2000 with a lower number with the lower serial number will take much less gas 
then the then the uh, hand of the higher serial number over the two zeros some something something and much less gas than the hand up from 200 and I can see it on the adjustment screw here okay this this is how I'm adjusting the the flow of the uh, propane to the generator so this generator is actually very efficient and that's why if the adjustment screw or the Hatch Mountain website, what they say, if the adjustment screw is not fine and it doesn't close really good and it is, it's not fine adjustments, like a rough adjustment panel, it will not work with these uh, low serial numbers on, on these handouts. So let me show you how it works now, okay? And this is uh, the same serial number, the one for. Uh, what I give you before. So let me turn this on, and I, I already adjusted this screw to the perfect setting, so I don't have to adjust it again. But uh, let me well, be good to turn it on, and let me prime it just a little, little bit. Okay. And you see the thing is closed, so I have no gas in there. I will try to adjust it a little bit better, but See how long it actually ran before it ran completely out of the gas from the hoses. So that tells you also that this, gen this generator takes very, very little gas. So it's very efficient and gasoline. Okay, and if you want to convert this to the propane, it will work. You just have to, you just have to be a little more perfectionist. So uh, close my case here. Till next time.